Okay, so in today's video we want to look at trigonometric identities. So what we're going to manipulate primarily is the Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. And we'll just manipulate this in particular ways to simplify certain trigonometric expressions. So let's look at this first example which says show that tan x, uh, tan x times sine x plus cosine x is secant of x. So one thing I would suggest as a general principle is to always look at the more complicated side. Start from there. So what we'll have is that tan x sine x plus cos x. Well the first thing we could do is explicitly write tan as sine x over cos x and then we'll have multiplication by sine x and plus uh, cos x. Now this simplifies to sine squared x on cos x plus cos x so we'll have a common denominator of cos x so I'll have sine squared x plus, well to get, this is over 1, so to get this to be a common denominator of cos x I'll need to multiply by cos, so I'll have cos squared over cos x but by the Pythagorean identity here we see that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 so we have 1 over cos x which by definition is sec of x. <coughs> Next one show that 1 over tan plus tan is equal to 1 over sine times cos. Again, I would uh, expand these. So I'd write this as 1 over sine x over cos x plus sine x over cos x. So to simplify this first one, we just flip it. So we'll get cos x over sine x plus sine x over cos x. Now to get a common denominator here we'll cross multiply so I'll get cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to cos x sine x but again by the Pythagorean identity cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1 so I'll get 1 over cos x sine x. This can also be written as sec x times cosec of x but we were just required to write it as 1 over sine x times cos x. Okay for the last one show that sine x minus cos x squared plus sine x plus cos x squared is constant. So I'd expand each of these expressions, so we'll get sine squared x minus 2 cos x sine x plus cos squared x, that's this first expression here, the, I'll maybe put that in parentheses, and the second expression is sine squared x plus 2 cos x sine x plus cos squared x. Now let's remove these parentheses. What we see is that the minus 2 cos x will cancel with the 2 cos x and what we're left with is sine squared x plus cos squared x plus sine squared x plus cos squared x but we know that this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 1 so therefore the sum of them is just 2 and the goal is to show that this is constant and indeed 2 is constant. Okay that's it for this video if you like the video please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comment section down below and there are notes to accompany the video in the video description. Thanks guys.